Hi everyone and I'm here again for another video and this video would be about um, travel itinerary. Ipapakita ko sa inyo kung paano ko gawin yung travel itinerary and um, to help you with some tips. So first of all, sa lahat ng mga nagtatanong sa akin ng paulit-ulit, if I need an itinerary because it's not in the checklist of the requirements. Guys, travel itinerary, day-to-day -day itinerary, is a mandatory requirement, lalo na sa mga short-term visa. For tourists, for visit, kailangan nyo ng travel itinerary. Now, sa mga question na nakukuha ko regarding do I need a travel itinerary if I'm not planning to do anything sa Europe, ma'am? If I'm going to only stay with my boyfriend's girlfriend house? Guys, please, enough with this question because you do need a travel itinerary. And if you're going to think of it, guys, if you will be going to Europe, you wanted to tell the embassy that you really wanted to go to Europe. That's why you wanted to get this visa. And then you're just going to say na, I wanted to go to Europe because I'm only planning to stay in my boyfriend's house for one month. Like, seriously, guys. Wala ba kayong mga balak puntahan? Like, wala ba kayong mga balak pasyalan? I mean, you can stay in your boyfriend's house, girlfriend's house, if you wanted to. But, I think, yung excuse na sa loob lang naman kayo ng bahay at wala kayong ibang balak puntahan is not really that acceptable because... May visa ka na eh, nasa, nasa dream country ka na and then wala kang ibang balak makita kundi ang loob ng bahay ng iyong partner. <laughs> so yeah guys, please do a travel itinerary. Hindi man ito yung pinaka, um, I mean I understand those people na hindi makagawa ng itinerary because they don't know what to do yet or hindi pa nila napaplan lahat. When you do a travel itinerary for the sake of your visa, it does not need to be an itinerary na kailangan mong i-follow talaga. Like, yun talaga yung i-follow mo pagdating doon. Pwede mong gawin yun, pero if you're in a situation na medyo nag-weigh-in ka pa kung ano yung mga countries na gusto mo talagang i-visit, so just do an itinerary na pa pwede nyo ipakita sa embassy just to show to them na ito yung plano mo. If you get your visa approved and then you decided you wanted to change your mind and you don't want to do the itinerary, then that would be fine. But when you apply for itinerary, make sure na magmumukhang yun talaga yung mga activities and attractions na balak nyo puntahan sa Europe. So now, I'm going to show you how I do my itinerary. Okay, so here I have yung table na ginagamit ko every time na gumagawa ako ng itinerary. There's a lot of um, format sa internet, but I find uh, this much easier to follow, lalo na if um, sa console, alam ko ayaw nila ng masyadong complicated na itinerary or yung mga itinerary na mahirap i-follow, sometimes um, masyadong detailed na per oras nilalagay nila, which is fine. But then again, I feel like it's somehow impossible to follow especially if they say um 7 a.m breakfast 6 30 uh wake up call something like that i mean it's impossible for someone to follow that kind of itinerary maybe for some so sa table na to ang nilalagay ko is yung day date country and city activities and attraction and then accommodation so first we go to the first table which is yung day um, this will, um, ito yung days, magre-represent kung how many days you're going to be staying in the Schengen countries. Uh, if you wanted to stay for 2 weeks, 14 days, 40 days, 20 days, or for um, even 90 days. And then, ilalagay nyo rin yung date. The date should start or should match dun sa flight details nyo, yung pinaka-araw na aalis kayo from the Philippines and then until the last day that you will be staying in the Schengen country. So let's say, I have this na. I already uh, choose how many dates I will be staying in the uh, Schengen, which is 25 days. And then I wanted to leave on February 25 and return on March 22, 2020. 
So now we will proceed dun sa uh, city con uh, country or yung city saan ba yung first country that you wanted to visit in the Schengen countries. So with me, I wanted to visit let's say Brussels first. So instead of writing it here dito sa first column ng table, ang ginagawa ko is nilalagay ko siya sa second column which is yung second day. Kasi guys, etong first day na to, ito yung day that you will be flying from the Philippines going to Europe. So, hindi siya counted because the the counting only start when you set or when you step your pag nasa Europe ka na, pag nagland ka na talaga sa Europe. So, yun nang start ng counting. So, ang ginagawa ko for this is flight from Manila to let's say um, Brussels, Belgium. For now, ganito lang siya muna. But normally, ang nilalagay ko kasi dito is yung flight um, details na nandun sa dami ticket. Nilalagay ko kung hours na darating sila sa gantong airport, kung saan ang airport sila magpupunta, um, manggagaling. And then, let's say, you leave the Philippines February 25, arrival in Brussels, February 26. So, sa activity, pwede yung ilagay yung mismong arrival. Arrival. Arrival in the Brussels airport. Sorry sa aking spelling. Ang hirap mag-type sa aking kuko. So, um, after arrival, what is the next thing you will do? Check in sa hotel. Okay. Ano ba tong hirap mo tayo? Check in. And take some. Let's say, napagod ka kasi yung haba-haba ng biyahe. So, pwede mo i-mention na gusto mo magpahinga. So, since nasa Brussels ka na, pagdating doon sa third table, yung country city, um, dito may ilalagay kung nasan ka during the specific day. So, let's say I wanted to stay in Brussels for a total of five days. So, one, two, three, four, five. Minimerge ko lang siya and then ilalagay ko Brussels. Ang hirap mag- uh -huh. Brussel, Belgium. So, ayan, makikita, man, makikita nyo naman, yung bracket is cover niya from February 26 up to March 1 na nasa Brussels ako. So, the following days, ang ilalagay ko na dito is yung mga activities na bala ko gawin within the day. So, like I said, hindi ko ginagawa per hour kung anong kung nasan ako on that hour but I uh, provide all the activities or all the tourist attraction that I wanted to see, that I wanted to visit within the day. So, let's say the next, uh, the second day, I wanted to yung morning plans ko is to take a oh no let's say join a hop up hop on hop bus city bus city tour so yan yung una kong gustong gawin kasi yan yung lagi kong naririnig sa mga nagta-travel sa Europe na meron daw um, city bus tour na pwede akong mag-join and I don't need to book an appointment for that. So, may mga um, stall dito na pwede kang mag-join. Na, sinasabi naman nila sa street na hop on, hop off bus city tour, something like that. But then, let's say, hindi mo na alam kung ano pa yung mga gusto mong gawin. I mean, ano nga ba meron sa Brussels? Ano nga ba yung mga attraction na pwede kong makita? So, to, to be able to look for activities and attraction, of course, you would need to search Google. <laughs> 
so I always do search for things to do in Brussels but before choosing yung mga activity, yung mga attraction, I always make sure na yung distance ng mga attraction na to is accessible or mala mabilis lang siyang mapuntahan at malapit sa um, hotel na pinag ko. Kasi when I do my um, itinerary, I always make sure to consider the distance from one attraction to another if kaya ba talaga siyang gawin within the day. So... Of course, always make sure to open your Google Map. And you need to learn how to use this Google Map to be able to look for these places because with me, I am not really good at using the map. My map is my husband. <laughs> but it will be benefiting you a lot if you learn how to use Google Map. So, ito. Yung first na lumalabas every time na magsusearch ka sa Google, itong things to do in Brussels, most of the time, this is what I'm using. Kasi ipapakita na nito yung mismong map. And then, makikita mo rin dito yung distance ng one place to another. So, of course, iti-check mo muna if you're someone na picky pagdating sa mga attraction. I-check mo muna kung maganda yung review, if yung picture maganda ba. Kasi syempre, most of the time, kaya ka lang naman ma-attract sa isang um, tourist attraction just because you're seeing a lot of good pictures at, ng attraction na yun. So, there are times na pagdating mo dun sa mismo attraction, uh, hindi ka nagagandahan kasi it's not what you expect but... That is why it's better to also check the reviews and recommendation na makikita nyo sa internet if it's, if it's worth going to that attraction. So, let's say, eto gusto kong puntahan kasi malapit lang sa hotel ko. So, there's the Mannequin Piece, Grand Place, Royal Gallery, um, St. Michael and St. Gudula Cathedral, and then I have here the Belgian Comic Strip Center and then Royal Palace of Brussels. So let's say I wanted to visit this um, six, six attraction within the day, which is very possible naman kasi nga malapit lang siya from one place to another. So ang gagawin ko, ikakapi ko lahat yan. And then let's say I have it here. Nilalagay ko siya lagi sa note kasi pag niretso ko siya dun sa table na ginagamit ko, nababago yung format. So, let's say, whole day plan. Ito yung gusto kong gawin lahat within the day. So, I have it there. If you wanted to be more of it specific, like, you can just say, whole day plan, tapos visit, mannequin piece, or stroll around Grand Palace. So, it, para lang mag, ano, magmukha siyang more customized or more personalized kasi nilalagyan mo ng mga konting visit and walk around, take pictures, something like that. But, ang mahalaga is yung mismong attraction and then yung mismong activity. And then, let's say, wala pa ako dito. Afternoon. Mm. Visit Choco Museum. Something like that. Um, so, tapusin muna natin. Let's say, third day, whole day, Hold the plan mo. Uh, join a free walking city tour. Tapos, ano pa ba? Um, spend the whole day, the rest of the day, I mean. So, ano pa ba yung pwede kong puntahan? Antomium. Let's 
So, ayan. Tapos, dito sa accommodation, ang ilalagay mo lang is yung hotel, kung saan ka magstay. Hotel, hostel, apartment. So, maglalagay ka lang dito ng pag i mo. And kasi kailangan may confirmation, lalo na sa mga hotel. So, saan ba ako nagbubuk ng hotel? Ano no, before we proceed pala doon. So, ito, first part pa lang yan. Um, if you're a tourist, you need to decide, let's say, which country after Belgium you would wanted to visit. Let's say, I wanted to visit um, Germany for four days. So, in here, ang ginagawa ko, merge ko lang, and then, I wanted to go Berlin. So, again, Gawin nyo lang kung ano yung ginawa nyo sa Brussels. Go to Google. Find things to do in Berlin. And then, it will give you this. Same option. Click on it. And then, again, makikita nyo yung map. And then, all the tourist attraction that you can do. Look for something that will interest you. And then, write it dun sa itinerary nyo. And so on until you finish lahat ng country na balak mong i-visit. So, we will now proceed dun sa accommodation. So, I always book my accommodation sa booking.com. Kasi sa booking.com, um, pwede kang mag-book or mag-reserve ng mga hotel without paying for it. Pwede, basta i-choose mo lang yung pay at the property or, at saka free cancellation siya. At least, you're sure na hindi mo kailangan magbayad agad ng malaking amount and then madideny lang ka din naman sa visa. So, you can just book an hotel here that is free cancellation and don't need to pay for it. So, nasan tayo? Nasa Brussels. So, we're going to... Oh, hindi pala ito naka-English. So, ito yung booking.com. The first box here, you will just write yung country kung nasan ka. So, it will give you the option kung saan place ng Brussels you would like to stay. So, let's say I wanted to stay dun sa city center. And then, it will give you the option to choose the date. So, I will be staying in Brussels from February 26 to February 29. So, February 26 until February 29. And then, how many person will that be? If meron ka bang kasama? So, let's say, ako solo lang. One adult and then one room. So, click search. So, it will give you all the hotels that you can book within the day. But to make it more easier para mahanap nyo, yung best na hotel para sa inyo is go to this filter and then click nyo yung free cancellation at saka yung no, no prepayment. So, in with this, it will give you all the hotels na pwede nyo i-cancel for free at hindi nyo kailangan bayaran yung reservation. So, ipapakita dito kung ano yung pinakamagandang um, choice for a solo traveler. But let's say you're someone that is tight pagdating sa budget and you wanted to save a lot of money. Uh, so, you can just choose here in third uh, table like price, yung pinakamura muna. So, it will give you the cheapest of them all which is 74 euro for five days. So, let's say, okay, I want, I want this, I book this, and then just proceed here, and then, makikita nyo naman, guys, dito sa baba, ito yung room na available sa kanila, the price, and then, make sure na naka-indicate dito, free cancellation before this, no prepayment needed, Always be mindful to always check na merong ganto ha. Kasi sometimes baka na wrong click kayo tapos kailangan nyo palang bayaran. At saka, please note yung cancellation day. Kung hanggang kailan nyo siya pwedeng i-cancel. Because if you were not able to cancel it within, before February 18, which is indicated here, 
they will automatically charge your card. Kasi hihinga nila yung card nyo dito. Let's say reserve. So, pagdating naman dito guys, it's easy to follow na. You just need to give your information and everything. And then, hotel confirmation. I don't think I need to show you kung ano pa yung mismong lalabas dito. But yeah, with this, you just need to get yung um, name ng hotel. So, I write the name of the hotel. The address, which is very important. So, inaayos ko lang yung address niya. And then, it's also important to get yung... Ay, hindi pala siya lumalabas. Hindi lumalabas yung phone number. O, sige. Gawin na lang natin to. So, let's say... Ay, let's say magbubuk ako for me. And then we just go. Tapos pibigyan nyo lang yung information nyo. How you will pay if you're going to pay at the property or if you're going to pay now. And then dito yung card information nyo. Again, you don't need to worry if they will charge you because um, hindi ka nila basa basa ito charge since free cancellation to. And then just complete the booking. So. Pag okay na lahat ng information, let's say meron ka na, ang lalabas dyan is parang ganito. Let's say. Yan. So, you have here the name of the hotel, the, ad the address, let's say Berlin. Um, and then, yung confirmation number. Itong confirmation number, makukuha nyo after the hotel reservation was confirmed. So, just do everything for like Berlin or dun sa mga country na balak nyo puntahan. So, in the end, ang magiging itsura ng itinerary nyo is something like this. So, this is a example of a travel itinerary I made for uh, an applicant that is applying for tourists. So, like I said, yung una, um, ito yung flight details dun sa dummy ticket niya. And then, you have here yung hotels na binook niya in Germany, Amsterdam, France, sa mga countries na balak niyang puntahan. And then, makikita niyo rin dito naka-indicate kung ano yung mga activities na gagawin niya sa per country. And this, you can see yung changing from Germany to Amsterdam, going to France. And then, you can also indicate there kung Paano ka ba pupunta from Germany going to Amsterdam? If you're going to take a train, if you're going to take a plane, or if you're going to take a bus or a night. Basta lahat ng accommodation, uh, accommodation, transportation that you're planning to do, you can also um, add that dun sa travel itinerary nyo. Now, what if you're an applicant na applying for a visit visa and then... Lagi kong nare-receive yung mga question na to eh. Tapos sasabihin nila, Ma'am, I'm going to only stay dun sa house ni boyfriend. I'm not going to do uh, too much activity or something like that. So, for a visit visa itinerary, it can look something like this. So, kasi itong applicant ko na to is may mga balak pa rin talagang i-visit na lugar. Kasi, guys, o oh nga naman, nasa Europe ka na, tapos anong balak mo sa loob lang na bahay ng partner mo? I mean, the embassy won't even believe that if you said na, Mom, I'm only planning to stay inside the house for 90 days. I don't really want to do anything, Mom. That's so... Mm. I don't wanna say it. So, ayun nga, ilagay nyo na lang doon yung mga stay at home. Let's say you wanted to stay at home for a total of 5 days. Then, ilagay nyo 5 days, stay at home. Let's say you wanted to visit a family member of your 
boyfriend, your girlfriend. So, i-indicate nyo lang din doon na I'm planning to visit my family's boyfriend. Something like that. So, if you wanted to see sample nitong mga itinerary na ginawa ko, I do have some sample in my website. And that's it! I don't know if it sounds complicated, but it's easy, guys. I mean, like I said, ang itinerary should be personalized as possible. And it should look easier and mabilis intindihan. So, if you find this format um, difficult or nalilito kayo, there's still a lot of format that you can find in the internet and you can look for something that will suit you or something na you find easier to, to follow. I mean, wala naman tamang-tamang itinerary at wala rin namang maling-maling itinerary. It will all depends on how you create it and the yung contain ng itinerary nyo. So, it will be all up to you. But, if you wanted or if you need any assistance or if you need help in making an itinerary because you find it difficult, I do offer um, services where I will do your itinerary. I can do one month, two months, three months, or kung ilang months man ang gusto nyo. Um, so, I, you can find my service in my website. I have there all the prices and kung ano yung package and some previews na makukuha nyo if mag-avail kayo ng travel itinerary ko. So, if you have further um, question, you can have that in the comment section below or you can also join my Facebook group where you can post uh, or ask um, experience or assistance from other members na nag-apply ng visa nila and then they were approved. So, yeah. If you do like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you're not yet a subscriber, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell button to be updated sa mga upcoming ko pa po na mga videos. But for now, I'll be ending this and I'll see you soon. Bye!